guys, I'm back doing this exercise um, specifically for boudoir uh, photographers and um, giving you some tips and keywords for your keyword strategy for your SEO optimizing your websites and blogs so you could get found online, book more clients, and live the life you want to live. All right, so remember, I'm a, this is me, a new client. I'm Maria, I'm married with three kids, and I want to do a session for my upcoming anniversary, but I really want to do it for myself because I'm almost 35, and you know, I think I want to celebrate that. Um, so, I have to go and Google because I'm not asking my friends, I'm not asking my neighbors, I'm not asking my mom, or, and I'm not asking Facebook. So I'm going to Google Man, and actually I've given Google personality. If you take my bootcamp course, you know, you know who he is, what Google Man looks like. So I'm going to Google Man, and I want to find a Bedour photographer, but I've never heard of that word. I don't even know what you're talking about. Stop assuming your clients even know what Bedour is. We live in New Jersey, very populated place. A lot of people have no idea, and then I have to describe it, and it's this awkward moment. So um, really honing in on exactly what you do and what you provide is great. All right, so let's see. Ooh, I want um, sexy pictures for husband. This is an actual keyword someone would type in, believe it or not. Um, maybe I'm thinking sensual, provocative, can't spell either, that's a problem. Um, professional photos. So I don't know if I really want to hire that, if that's for me, but I want to see who else has been doing it and um, who, um, you know, is this legit? Should I really get this done for myself? Is it really what I think it is? So sensual, provocative, sexy, pictures, um, photographer, maybe I will think of the word intimate, private. Board makes a noise. Intimate, private photographer in such and such a place. So, what if I was going to do this for, um, what if I was a military wife? So, sensual photos, private photos for military wives. Wives, I can't spell. I'm not sure. But you so let's say I do know what boudoir is, but I'm probably not even going to say boudoir photographer. I might be typing in boudoir pictures. Um, professional pictures, lingerie. Um, photo in lingerie. Maybe the person might use what is boudoir. So this is how I want you to start thinking. You really have to ask your clients. You know, before you even found a boudoir photographer, what did you think boudoir was? How are you expressing it? How are you saying it? Sometimes our clients give us the best answers and things that we haven't thought about. So some keywords for us are sexy pictures. Professional pictures for husband. Maybe it's semi-nude. Maybe it's fine art nude. Professional nude pictures. Professional photographer for nude pictures. Sensual photos for um, husband. Um, sexy photo album for husband. Ideas for uh, doing, giving husband a, a photo album, a gift, a sexy gift. Because then they find each other and they start talking to each other. Um, what to wear to a boudoir uh, session. What to wear, instead of saying what to wear for a boudoir session, say, they're probably typing in what to wear for boudoir pictures. Think like the client. Break it down. Generic. They don't use photos in the word photography as much as we do, but they use pics, pictures, photos. So do a variation of that with your keywords. Start building your keywords in a spreadsheet. And again, look forward for that blog post where we're going to have a little list of the top ones that I found were interesting. And don't forget, we are running.